Thank you for staying with us. It's time now to take a look at stories making headlines on the front page of uh, Nigerian newspapers. And uh, I begin with the first news newspaper. The major story here says, Adamawa Einek rights police demands the resident electoral commissioner's prosecution as uh, inspector general of police tasks investigative team to expedite action. Assures commission all those involved will be punished. All the details on the front page of the first news newspaper. To the nation newspaper now, Nigerian student lament ordeal in crisis-torn Sudan. Nigerian students lament ordeal in crisis-torn Sudan. It's dangerous to evacuate over 5,500 citizens without clearance, says the federal government. U.S., U.K., France, Russia move out nationals. All the details on the front page of the nation newspaper. And to this Nigerian newspaper still talking, Sudan, federal government sets up evacuation committee. Federal government sets up evacuation committee and some writer here says as UK, US, UK, others rescue citizens. You find all the details on the front page of this Nigeria newspaper. To the Punch newspaper now, Sudan conflict. Government seeks Egypt support to rescue 5,500 Nigerians by road. Government seeks Egypt support for, to rescue 5,500 Nigerians by road. And the writers here say federal government warns as Nigerian students pay $100 for dangerous road. Uh, we are waiting for Sudanese government to provide safe corridor for evacuation. The minister speaking there. And to the Abuja Inquirer now, still talking about the Sudan crisis, evacuation risky now, federal government tells Nigerian students. And uh, some writers here, Nance pegs a $200 evacuation fee, a U.S., U.K. airlift embassy staff. Mike. All right, I have daily trust here also beaming searchlight on the same thing. Sudan crisis is the focus here. Federal government begins evacuation of stranded Nigerians tomorrow. And uh, that's what Daily Trust has, 5,500 waiting for government action. And students move to Ethiopia, cry for rescue. Uh, airlines bypass airspace. Right, you find all this on the front page of the Daily Trust newspaper. Nigerian News Direct is next. It's still on the same issue, Sudan crisis. Federal government to evacuate 5,500 Nigerians by road. A mall's evacuation through e Egyptian border, Port Sudan and Ethiopian border. Nigerians stranded in Sudan giving us sleepless night. The presidency is saying this. Remain calm and indoors. We are working for your safety, federal government tells Nigerian students in Sudan. That's what the News Direct has. From there, let's go to Daily Independent. Okay. Daily Independent moves away from there now. Rising inflation may hamper incoming government's economic plan. All right? Rising inflation may hamper incoming, incoming government's uh, economic plan. That's what uh, Daily Independent has. From there, let's go to The Guardian newspaper. The Guardian says rising poverty costs dampen eSIM adoption impact on Nigeria's card production. Okay? That's what uh, The Guardian there has. Business Day is the next one, and we're looking at the big story there on Business Day. And it says, Trillion Naira government schemes struggle to curb poverty. Trillion Naira government schemes struggle to curb poverty. Okay, that's what he has there. Analyzing right from the days of the poverty alleviation program to Shopee to NPower and all of the others put together since uh, several administrations ago. That's what Business Day has. From there, let's go to Leadership Newspaper. Leadership says, amid low patronage, mass metering program in limbo as manufacturers divest. Okay? Amid low patronage, mass metering program in limbo as manufacturers divest. Blame inflation, operational costs for high electricity tariff, poor service. And only 5.93 million Nigerian households are metered. That's what the report here has. And Nigerians have been calling 
on government to patronize made in Nigeria companies to bridge the gap. From there, let's go to Vanguard newspaper. And it says, global competitiveness over 30 taxes choke industries in Nigeria. Global competitiveness over 30 taxes choke industries in Nigeria. 17 bills on more levies pending in National Assembly. And taxes above global average of 23.37%. SMEs lose 9% of uh, yearly income and stakeholders chart way forward, okay? All this on the front page of the Vanguard newspaper. Business AM is next. And it said Nigeria's construction sector put on the spot over building collapse. And experts weigh in over worrisome levels. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's what Business AM has. The last one we're looking at now is the Nature News. Nature News is focusing on Earth Day. It says environmentalists, experts advocate change of behavior to save the planet. Okay, Veronica, that's what we have. Mike, let's talk Sudan. Um, whether we like it or not, we have to look into this matter mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. we have over 5,000 persons uh, trapped, I'll use that word, mm -hmm. in Sudan as yeah. we speak because of the fighting that has been going on for the past two weeks and the intensity of the fighting we are seeing the dimension is taking and uh, according to the UN over 400 persons have been killed that's the ones that are reported mm -hmm. and uh, some Nigerian students are trapped in that situation they're talking about how harrowing their experiences have been with regards to what they are seeing on the streets and some of them have to just lock themselves up uh, in their various locations, and they have been calling of, on government to come look at how they can evacuate them out of there. We have seen the U.S., uh, the U.K., you know, swinging to action to pick up their uh, nationals out of there, even working overnight uh, to ensure the safety of their citizens. But Nigeria is saying that because of the situation on the ground, that they can just go into the country bring them out as, as it is. Uh, they have to get uh, approvals from the, federal, from the government of Sudan and to also look at a safe corridor that can be provided to evacuate the students out of there. It's a very challenging time for the federal government and one can actually understand how uh, the issues are going. Now, it is, if you make comparison between British, American, French nationals... Yes and other African countries, it is easier because when it is easy, you know, an American is easy, easily identifiable among Africans, among African Africans. So, so the point there is, when they come, those who are the warring factions within uh, Sudan, when they see foreign nationals, it is easy to say, okay, these people are not part of whatever. It will give them the safe corridor to move, whatever the thing is. But we've seen... French, uh, 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 when French, nation, French nationals were being evacuated mm -hmm. in the initial stage, we saw that they were attacked, mm -hmm. which, which led to the issue of government deciding, okay, we need to rethink how we're going to ensure that Nigerians uh, uh, are evacuated from, from Sudan. Now, a video went viral, uh, I think a few days ago. There was a video of, uh, although it's not verifiable, but it was said to be a video of... Uh, uh, Sudanese, you know, attacking foreigners who are in Sudan. Mm. Although we couldn't verify, independently verify that the authenticity or that, originality of that, that video. video. Yeah. But when that video went viral and it went round, a lot of persons became more apprehensive because mm. they actually, it was a gruesome murder of young people on the streets. It was a very, in fact, the site was a very gory one. Mm. So that sent a lot of... Um, concerns amongst uh, young people who were seeing what was happening. Now, there are three areas that are being considered. Recall that airplanes were burnt. Part of, part of the air, airports were destroyed. So there is no flight in that regard right now, except you're going to use helicopters. Mm -hmm. Now, there are three routes. That are, in fact, there are four routes that are being considered, and that is to the Egyptian border, uh, uh, Port Sudan, which is to the, to the Red Sea, and then the Ethiopian border. Now, there's another border is the Chadian border. Mm. However, the Chadian border, a lot of things are considered in that corridor because of the Boko Haram uh, effect, if you're going to bring people from, from that area. 
So it is easier to say, okay, let's let's look at let's, Egypt. Let's look at Egypt or look at Ethiopia, mm. and then see how we can evacuate Nigerians to those areas and then fly them back home. Mm. These are all the things that are being considered. Now, the, the other twist there is that, recall that the, Nigeria National, the National Association of Nigerian Students mm. had issued out a statement, a circular, saying that the students there should pay some amount of money, yeah, 100, 200, or 200, 200 dollars, yes. you know, as the case may be. Uh, that came, I guess, that came from when they felt that government was not moving fast enough. Mm. But we've seen the report from the government saying, eh, students, please disregard that. Because when, we, when government to government is working, it is more effective than students... When you want to take an independent Exactly, taking action. an independent uh, decision on uh -huh. that. Yeah. And if you're going to compare how effective this... this uh, 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 what do you call it? These decisions are, or this action is, is going to be, of course, you would trust that if government works close with government, with the Sudanese government, Nigerian government works cl closely with uh, Sudanese government, you can get more uh, 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 assistance yeah. in, in creating a corridor for Nigerians. Mm. Recall that the Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, Jofi Onyema, mm. uh, announced that he had spoken to someone in the presidency mm. and that they had applied formally and they were being considered to be given uh, a, a, safe corridor. A, a safe corridor with mm. the help of uh, military, Sudanese military officials. Mm. So it, it's a challenging time for, for, for the federal government and for Nigerians. And only one, one can only imagine what students will be going through. Recall that the Ukrainian, uh, Ukrainian, matter, the is, Ukrainian matter was okay. still, was still at it's hand. Still, yes. Right? Still there, yeah. Good. So, but we saw how... Countries went in to evacuate their citizens through Poland and through other borders, and mm -hmm. as the case may be. This is another situation right now. Mm -hmm. So only those who are there, like the students who are there, trapped in the situation, can tell the, the nature, what they go through. In fact, the fear of what they are going to go through that they've not gone through sometimes can be worse than what they go through, what they see physically. Mm -hmm. So uh, government is doing everything, and, and from what the report is saying, from tomorrow... Uh, they'll be they'll begin evacuation, which is a good thing. So mm -hmm. let's see how it goes. Five thousand five hundred students. That's a lot. Is a because lot of even number. the government was saying that because of that huge number, mm -hmm. it makes it also difficult. Yeah, it makes it Unlike challenging. If you if you have uh, if you have had something like maybe twenty mm -hmm. hundred yeah. persons, it's easier mm -hmm. to you know well, evacuate them. But to say 5,500, that's a lot, a lot. A lot. Uh, <clears throat> that the government uh, has to deal with to look at how safe. Safety mm -hmm. first is what the government is saying they are yeah. considering. Mm -hmm. And that is why they are not swooping into action, swinging into action as quickly as possible. They need to ensure that uh, Nigerians, that they will be evacuating are safe and they, are, they get home safe to their but families. But in, in addition to that, because we also understand government has set up a committee. Yes. There should be a template for this kind of issues. Right, there, and there then communication mm -hmm. should be yeah. done as regularly as possible Under to the... send some level of assurance mm -hmm. to this person that we are working. Yeah. It's not that we are leaving you uh, there stranded. Yeah. We are working on these things to get you out mm. safe. There, there should All be right. a template for that. Under the Ministry of For uh, Foreign Affairs and also NIPCOM. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. All right.